What is going on guys? I am Laserbolt and welcome to another Gotham Knights video. Today is going to be more of an open discussion with you guys on things I feel like need to be changed within the game. I'm going to put a number in. I'm going to say some things I might mention a little bit more, but I want to go ahead and start off with my number one concern, which is the performance not only on PC, but also on console. As you guys may know, one of the biggest drawbacks that the game got was the fact that it wasn't running 60 frames per second on console and there was a little bit of issues on the pc granted i didn't experience too many of them but i know some people did so i think the number one suggestion i would do or the number one thing i want changed in the game is definitely i would like to make sure that everything gets sorted out as far as the performance is concerned when it comes to the pc and also the console now if you guys like what we're doing here on the channel a like would be greatly appreciated guys and big massive shout out to all you members who decided to subscribe Thank you guys for deciding to become a member by hitting the join button down below and we're waiting for the new dlc and you guys are definitely going to want to become a member now with that being said guys let's talk about option number two now for option number two guys we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the mods now the mods there are multiple things i want to mention about the mods but number one guys i wanted there to be an ability of me to be able to filter and say i do not want to get greens i do not want to get whites I do not want to get blues. I only want to get purples. Okay, so I think as far as the mods, my number two would be ability of me be able to sort what I wanted it to drop and what I don't want it to drop. So that would be number two. Now for number three, which would also tie into the mods, is that I want to have the ability of me being able to get legendaries. Now, as of right now, there is no way of getting legendaries. So if I want to fuse, let's say I want to fuse some heroics, and I want this heroic to turn into a legendary. There is no way for me to actually do this. I want the ability of being able to do that. The The thing is, I want, let's say I want, even if they change it to instead of four, it's 10 or eight just to get a legendary. That's perfectly fine because that means you got to farm these. But I want to be able to get legendaries apart from the only way you're able to get legendaries. I, I think that should be a thing where I'm able to kind of do that. I think that would be really awesome. Another thing that I want to do, which is number four, which is also within the mods, I want to be able to uh, to pretty much decide what stats I want increased. So let's take a look at this example. So this example is uh, is the oh, let's look at this legendary bird. So let's look at this one. This is going to increase my power and my health. How about if I want to make sure I get some crit shouts in here, right? So how about if I want this to have crit as well? I would like to go into the melee tree and actually be able to apply this this one in this slot okay so i, I want to make sure i get some some of that or i want to make sure that i'm able to transfer maybe a little bit of defense into this one so there's a way for me to fuse and have multiple stats i think that would be my number four i think personally that would make the game a lot better and it gives it a little bit more replayability when you're farming these i think that should be a thing so number four, number five, guys, we are going to go into, of course, the styles. And this one primarily, guys, is giving me the ability of changing the colors of the transmox. Now, the transmox look really awesome. They're very amazing. But I am generically stuck with this look. Okay, there's no way of me changing this look. I want to be able to change the color of some of these suits to make them really dope. Like, for example, I love this Night Ops suit, but I just don't like the color. I don't like the color at all. I want to be able to change it. At least let me apply shaders to them. That'd be pretty dope. Or this one right here. How about if I want to make this completely black or I want to make this completely white? Let me do it. I want to be able to do that. So that would be my number five. All right. So for my number six, guys, I want to go into the crafting. I want to be able to go to the blueprints in the crafting. And I want to be able to remove some of these. I, I, I don't want to make sure, like, I don't want to have to scroll through this list looking for a suit. I want to be able to remove them. I know right now we have a sorting system, which is going to be my number six. But I want to remove some of these. How about if I don't want to filter through 100, 200 of these? I just want to make sure I'm, I'm able to check out the one I really want. I want to be able to delete the stuff within the crafting system because I love to have my stuff clean and this does not make it look clean. This makes me go through the whole entire menu. Now onto my number six, which is the sorting. I want, can we please add sorting by new, please? We have sorting by ready, sorting by defense, sort by power. Why don't we have sort by new? I want to be see all the new items I got. I want to be able to sort by new. Can me sort by new? Come on, make it happen. I know right now you guys are like, yes, laser, you're 100% right. I totally agree. We definitely need sort by new. 
All right, so for number seven, guys, I think right now there is that. I mean, there's a couple. I would say, like, for each character, I have, like, I could get four builds. Can I please get at least one slot in here that will allow me to save a suit, save a melee weapon, save a ranged weapon? So when I want to do solo content, I could have that already, that loadout saved up. And when I want to do co-op, which is going to be, you know, more like in general, getting benefits when it comes to reviving or doing like that, have that loadout pretty much saved so I don't have to go sort but look for the suit Look for the melee weapon. Look for the range weapon. I want to be able to save a loadout. I think that would make it really awesome. Let me know what you guys think. All right, so for number eight, guys, it's going to be primarily in the map. I want the map or I want these side missions, for example, these uh, these ones. I think right now we're at the point where, you know, a lot of people are trying to farm the very hard ones. And I think there should be an incentive for you guys to be completing very hard. So let's say I do this very hard mission and there's another very hard mission and another very hard mission. Let's say I do all three of them. I want the next time I load in here, I want them to be four. <laughs> and then I want them if I do all four, I want them there to be five. And then so on and so on and so on where I could theoretically have all of them be very hard. Now, the reason I think that should be a thing is because not only is loot farming very difficult in the game as far as targeting them, you it takes a while for you to get the uh, most wanted enemies. I think that should be a thing where you're able to farm these and you're able to increase the level of difficulty you get as you progress. Now, would this be like a thing where it becomes harder? So let's say I'm farming this. These are very hard. And then I'm able to, once I have all of them very hard, does it become more difficult? I think that should be a thing. I think that would be pretty dope and something a little bit more challenging and make builds a little bit more viable. If these will turn very hard as you progress. So let's say I do this very hard. I finish this very hard. I complete all the red ones. I go back to the Belfry. I come back. Now there's two very hearts. I do those two very hearts. And then I come back to the Belfry. Then it's, you know, four very hearts, five and six. And you guys get the idea. I think that should be a thing. Another thing I think should be a thing is I think, which is being for number eight, I personally think that the most wanted options should, or the most op, the most wanted characters, for example, these guys here, the Gotham Most Wanted, these should not stop after you complete them. These should actually reset. So, for example, let's say you do all 32 of them and they're completely done. You should be able to go ahead and spawn them back in. Even though they don't give you the gear that they drop, they should theoretically still award you some really good whoop. Like, for example, more, more metal, you know, more legendary metal. I think something like that would be really dope. And you should be able to target farm these. I think that would be a really awesome thing. Because if, you, if you're able to convert all the stuff, like I said, in the map to very hard, it'll be easier to kind of just keep doing this over and over and over again. Number 10, guys, is once again for more replayability, and that is going to be for the case files. I want to be able to go redo Harley Quinn. I want to be able to do Mr. Freeze. I want to be able to do Clayface. So I think once you unlock this, I think unlocking those and making those into strikes would be really awesome, and allowing you to replay these would be really, really dope, and kind of giving you an incentive. of maybe we could get a Harley Quinn custom, maybe we could get a Mr. Freeze costume, Maybe we could get a clay fit costume and, you know, or, or suits and they have special benefits that kind of tie into the character. I think that would be really dope. And I think the community would definitely love being able to replay the missions and having some really awesome loot drop coming our way. Let me know what you guys think of the things I wish that would change in the game in the comment section down below. I hope you guys are enjoying your content. You are doing the heat favorite guys. Drop a comment, drop a like. Big shout out for all you members who have joined. And also, guys, don't forget to check out the video that's popping up right now to find out how to get this amazing secret suit. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.